And as that new mobile chapter unfolds, another closes. Today was the last day for a waterfront business that's been around for 85 years. News 5's Nicolette Schleisman talked with the owner of the Southern Fish and Oyster Company today before he walked out of his business for good. After more than 80 years on the waterfront here in Mobile, Southern Fish and Oyster is closing their doors for good. Nothing lasts forever. Ralph Atkins Jr. has worked at Southern Fish and Oyster for more than five decades. This is Ralph at Southern Fish and Mobile. Today, he sold his last batch of oysters. And I'll have that in here when he comes in at 3 o'clock. It's bittersweet for him. We've been around this this October the 16th, that'll be, what, 85 years. The fish market's property was condemned for the new I-10 bridge project. Atkins says that's not the only reason why they're closing. Bottom line is we really couldn't get enough production anymore to do anything. This customer, who didn't want to give her name, came to say goodbye to Atkins. This is an institution in the city. She's been buying fish from him for years. My father, uh, Gordon Bailey, bought from Mr. Atkins and um, uh, Southern Fish and Oyster. And then when my husband and I married, we started uh, trading with Mr. Atkins. She says Mobile won't be the same without Southern Fish and Oyster. There will be a void. Atkins says it's still hard to say goodbye. It's been good. Atkins says he'll still be around Mobile. In downtown Mobile, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5. And for the latest information on the I-10 Bridge and Bayway Project, you can attend two LDOT public hearings next month. The first will be a week from today, May 7th, from 4.30 to 8 at the Spanish Fort Community Center. And the second will be next Thursday, May 9th, at the Mobile Civic Center.